So I want to thank everyone for coming out, for showing up for today's presentation about learning the five components of an automated marketing system. So this is a fun presentation for me. I'll get to share some expertise about what I love to do and help share some of what I've learned over time about digital marketing and specifically for websites. So let's just jump right on in. All right. So a little about me. My name is George Woodard. I'm a WordPress marketing website specialist. Basically, I love building websites for a living. I've been doing this now for over 10 years, working with B2B nonprofits and government agencies over the last 10 years. I enjoy what I do and I enjoy having fun doing this. And the favorite part of it is the teaching aspects. I get to teach other agencies and groups about how I get to serve in my capacity. Certified WordPress developer, certified digital business consultant, and I've helped and served and built, supported, hosted a north of 3,000 websites in my career. So I have quite a bit of experience in this. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. First, you need marketing help. I want you to think about what it takes to actually market your nonprofit or any business for that matter. There's a lot of work involved. There's a lot of manual labor that goes into it. And on this specific case, it there's a lot of challenges that go along with digital marketing, specifically the website. So what would your business or your nonprofit be like if the phone didn't ring, emails didn't come through and no one visited your website? Unless you're a unicorn that relies solely on a word of mouth referrals, you have thousands of fans that are promoting you every day. You need a marketing system in place and you need new leads that can convert to donors. Without these, you're limited to your existing amount of leads or existing amount of donors. And just quite naturally over time that dwindles down. So you want to make sure you have systems in place that perform the actions of marketing for you. So you would be able to generate a pipeline just almost on demand of leads that can convert to donors that would attend whatever programs that you have purchase any services that you may offer, et cetera, et cetera. Getting started with doing this means having a website that attracts visitors into taking a positive action step. Action steps can be anything, placing a phone call to you, sending you an email with the inquiry, signing up to receive more information, joining your newsletter. There's so many different ways that you can determine positive action steps for your audience to turn into leads that could eventually turn into donors or people who are raving fans of what services that you offer. Some of those are great. They should never be discounted. However, you need to remember that they require a lot of it requires administrative time and effort to review and follow up with people. There's a lot of just energy that goes into doing that. And not everyone is going to be suitable for you. That's something that a lot of people struggle to understand why are people not converting? Why isn't everyone doing it? That's actually not the point. You don't want everybody to, to join your team. You don't want everyone to be a, a client of yours. You don't want everyone in your audience. You only want the people in your audience that should be there for you, that will be fans of you, that support your mission, support your goals. So, you know, that's wasted time for the ones who are not a perfect fit for you. And not everyone is going to be suitable. That's just the bottom line. You, you want to make sure you have people in your audience that are suitable for what you provide. To be able to do that, the best way is having a marketing system. Having an automated marketing system, your website can help you generate or attract the type of people you want to work with, potential joint ventures, clients, getting the message out there of the services and the help that you can provide and offer products, even if you're hosting symposiums or any type of conferences. Having all of these systems in place will position you as the expert, educate your perspective audience on who you are, what you provide, what do you do. And that just makes people want to be your fan and want to work with you. And that all sounds great. 
but you can have this. So the goal of today's presentation, I'm going to show you how you can benefit from an automated marketing system. I help you save money in time and it will work with your existing website. Or if you ever down the line decide to want to create like a website RFP to redesign your website, these are a lot of the pieces that you want to add into it. So without further ado, the first portion is the actual system itself, the overarching design, the what the system is, what it is, it's a marketing system. You have many different components of this marketing system that are in place that will help you with the lead generation tactics. It's basically the marketing system is a process that helps take visitors on your website through a series of what's called micro commitments that eventually lead to an end goal. This end goal could be numerous of things. If you have services that you offer to a certain audience, that's one goal. If you have any specific products, if, if your organization is selling baskets that help provide food for the community, that's one thing. If you're providing consultation services to your nonprofit, it's so many different goals that you can come up with. Book a call with your team. There's so many different things, but it's literally automated system that takes your visitor from your website through micro commitments and helps lead them to an end goal. That's all it is. A visitor will come to a specific page on your website, promoting the content that they can receive for signing up. And the pieces of content that you're providing is a valuable piece of content, something that helps them achieve a goal or is related to a specific problem that they may have. After they've opted in to receive the content, taken to a thank you page, then that's when they can learn more about who you are, what your mission is. And you have an opportunity here to actually share more key information about your organization which will drive down what's called your bounce rate on your website. And this keeps them engaged with who you are. Best thing about that is that a lot of that works in a system, systematic way. You putting sections on your website that has more content related to whether it's a specific value that you're providing for your piece of content, or if it's just more relatable content that you've already written blog posts, if you have eBooks, white papers or whatever. Any of those pieces of content will help you. And then after they've done it over the next following days, they'll receive a series of emails from you. And what this does is help nurture the person to be able to convert, get to the end goal that you're trying to accomplish. The purpose of these emails, they provide free additional free content that builds on top of the information that you provided before. It, it provides additional quick wins and it also shows additional expertise on your end. So there's a lot of why behind doing some of that information. In the beginning, that's the welcoming sequence. And this is the second point on this slide. You have your welcoming sequence, welcome them, thank them for signing up. It gives them a base component of letting the person know that you're grateful for them joining your audience. Then the next is the nurturing emails. And then eventually it was called the closer, which is a call to action, getting them to convert to the end goal that you originally created the system for. And now moving on, you have the next component, which is the problem. What is your focus? What is it that you are trying to focus on? Think about the key service that you may have and backing up with the system. There's a little bit of a tip. You can pick one service that you offer, um, whatever it may be, or even a product and focus on this for your automated system. And this can be one of your key offerings. Write this down on a piece of paper and we'll help you build on this throughout the presentation. And then part of the problem, this is your focus. Think about the key service that you've written down previously. What does it solve? How does it make them feel, makes your audience feel? After the problem is solved, how does it make their life or other life, people's lives better? Your answer to these questions helps create the content that you should be using in your automated marketing system. And in fact, this is actually um, a good way to help generate content overall on your website, new blog posts, even outside of all for your website, going through social media, creating the posts that you need to post on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Facebook. There are so many ways that you can leverage that. But your service that you provide, that's going to be the focus of the, the, what your service solves or what your product solves will be the focus of this automated system. And just thinking about that, you want to write down the biggest problem that your audience has. 
that this solves, usually between one to three problems would be ideal. And once you figured out that part, you can come up with five reasons that your service solved this problem. Can you do that? I'm sure you can. I know a lot of times these types of exercises are a little harder, but you can be able to do that. Take those five reasons and expound on them. Come up with the benefits that your service can solve these, uh, those issues. The benefits are the end result for your audience. So you want to focus on the problems that you're solving or the five reasons and make them into benefits, not features. You want to make sure that what you're solving is beneficial to your audience. So these end up being the end result of what your audience gets from the problem that you solve. This is how they feel. This is how it changes their life. This is how it impacts them. It helps alleviate any problems that they have. So you want to focus on that and it would help you speak directly to your intended audience. And what you do by taking these five reasons, you actually convert them into something what's called a lead magnet. And I'm sure you probably heard this before at some point, but this is a way to generate a lead magnet. You take your five reasons, answer the questions, and then create your lead magnet. Turn into a PDF document, typically less than 10 pages. In my experience, in this day and time, people don't tend to read as much but if you're providing a piece of content that's extremely valuable, that's engaging as well to your audience, that will actually draw them in and make them make, not make them, but it would help them to stay more engaged in reading what you're providing. So that 10 page length max, I would try to stay around eight, which is best, but 10 at max. And the purpose of it, it just answers all the questions that her audience has and provides specific action points that deliver value. So moving on to the next portion is the actual automation itself. Now, this is the bread and butter of your assistant. One of the biggest limiting factors that we have, especially in marketing, is just time. Time, it seems like time is on its own these days, is moving to the beat of its own drum. So time is just slowly getting away from us in a quicker pace. So when it comes to marketing, the same thing applies. One of the biggest limiting things is time. We're constantly juggling multiple deadlines, multiple projects, multiple initiatives. So you want to make sure you're utilizing your time the best way possible. So the biggest benefit is having an automation. And this will bring you um, a lot of ease. And basically automation will bring to you that it will simply save you time and money. Once your automated marketing system is set up, there's a full process that each lead will follow. Literally, you're taking them through what we referred to earlier as micro commitments. They sign up. Okay, cool. Your system sends the welcome sequence. They open that email. That's another micro commit. Maybe throughout the nurturing email sequence, maybe there's some links within those emails that drives them to additional content, ideally on your own website. That's another micro commitment. They're staying engaged with your audience. They're learning more about what you provide. So it just all starts in that pattern. They sign up, they obtain the lead magnet. Once they attain the lead magnet, then they jump right into the nurturing sequence and the automated system or the sequence, I should say, will help nurture your prospect, providing value, education, giving them opportunities to gain quick wins for them that delivers immediate value, which is the thing you really want to do because what that does is create a emotional commitment for them and it helps them to uh, relate better to what you're providing and the services or products that you're offering. And then the call to action, what do you want them to do at the end of this? Do you want them to give you a call? Phone number can be added. With today's time, with people using smartphones, if you add a phone number into an email, uh, it actually can be linked to where if they click it, it'll call directly to you. Do you want them to sign up for a consultation service or is there a program, you know, that you have that you want them to sign up for? You're selling boxes. It's just so many different goals that you can come in, but you want to focus on your specific call to action, making sure that the commitments that they are going through will eventually come down to some type of conversion that you would like them to do. You want them to go from just being a unknown person to someone that you just frankly put like your friend. They've joined your list. They've learned more about what you provide. Now you want to 
get them to convert over to being a client of yours or a donor or take advantage of the service or products you offer. So at the end of your nurturing sequence, you want to create that call to action email and it leads them directly to what you want them to do and start creating these emails that, you know, for the nurture sequence and the call that that's always recommended that if you're creating these emails, that they're structured behind the problems that you're solving. And then when you get to the call to action email, it makes it a lot easier for them or a lot that makes the prospective person a lot more willing to move further because they've been a lot more engaged with the content that you provide. Well, I so far hope this is helpful, but moving on to the next component is pipeline. So simply put here is the component of this component of the automated system is building a predictable pipeline of leads. If you think about it, having a pipeline of leads, donor, prospective clients, that's what drives your organization without them lights don't stay on. That's just simply put, no matter how you drive them into your organization, you'll have some systems and process in place. You want them to some systems and process in place to be able to follow up and offer whatever offer product, service, consultations, whatever that you are providing. And it's all too common to be on that roller coaster. I'm sure we've all been there for one month. You have millions of people contacting you wanting to take advantage of what you offer and then you're head down working hard as you can to deliver and then by the second third or fourth month goes down you don't hear from anybody you're like questioning is the website broken or was our phones broken and you're like our emails messed up it's just so many things so having that predictable pipeline helps bring your peace of mind. Putting automated systems in place like this will help explode this pipeline and bring in a steady supply of leads. You want that to happen. You don't want to be constantly like this every month because that can stress you out. Just put, plainly put, that can stress you out. We only have so much time to do so many things. So if you can delegate tasks into automation to solve a lot of those operational problems, having an automated marketing system is one of them. And that will help you out immensely. These prospective people are entering into your system and they'll be nurtured without any need for additional touch points. So you don't have to hire a whole nother team to step in and do a lot of the tasks. You have a system in place that will perform these tasks for you. And then also having those same systems, having analytics behind it to see how well you're performing. That's even the biggest thing. That's another big thing, a part of it too, is that you want to not only have it in place to perform, but you want to see how well it's performing. Because the best thing behind that is to be able to optimize it to where you can scale even further in building a bigger pipeline. Or if your operations and your organization is growing, you can start offering more things, more services, more products, and then you already have the system in place to be able to help you out with your marketing. Most importantly, you want to build trust and you want to be well known as the people who know, be well known by people who know and trust you. And having these systems, you're doing that type of trust building. You are creating more sanity in your operation. In addition, once your system is in place, you can use the data to understand how your conversion rate works. So for example, let's say you have an average of 200 new leads coming into your system each month. And then of these new leads, these 200 new leads, you have 25 of them are booking calls with you at the end of the process, at the end of the system. That's one that they make it to your call to action. And they click on the link, 25 of them are actually booking a call to speak with your team. And then from those particular calls, you nail five new donors for the month. That's a two and a half percent conversion rate. So you have 200 leads coming in and of those 200, five of them actually convert to new donors. That's two and a half percent conversion rate. That sounds low, but believe it or not, industry standard is around 2%. So that's actually not bad to have a conversion rate that, that at that rate. But if you think about it this way, what if each of these new donors were worth $2,000 to your organization? That is $10,000 that's directly attributed to this new marketing system. And then also, what if you can increase that conversion rate to 5%? I mean, just 
double that. You don't have to get in the 20s or 15. Just increase it to 5%. You increase your, or you can increase your new lease to 400. And then you're at 200 or $20,000, excuse me, in new business a month. Just knowing this information, understanding the data is extremely important for your organization. You can take a glance at the number of the new leads entering your system at any time. And it helps you feel good that you have something in place that is taking, um, taking the burden off of you of having to reach out, having to do follow-ups, having to create or generate content on demand. You have a system in place that is already doing that for you. They're coming in at any time. And this thing runs 24 seven. That's another beautiful thing. You know how we keep mentioning time. We're only uh, not allowed to, but we only choose to work maybe eight hours a day, maybe 10. But if you have something running 24 seven, that's doing this for you, then that's something that will help you out to where you could do it while you're asleep. Just think about how great that is. Uh, and then just another tip, just look at your current sales or your current pipeline. Do you know what your current conversion rate is? Do you um, even follow the data of your current pipeline? Even if you're only able to look at the number of leads that you're getting and the number of conversions that has turned into, that's still some valuable data. So you, you want to make sure that you're following the data. The devil's in the details, as that old saying goes. If you're following the data, that will help you understand your pipeline, understand where your leads are coming from. Channels are working better than others. For some people, social media works better. For some others, using paid ads works better. For other people, maybe they're coming from previous events. You just don't know if you don't have the data that's tracking your leads coming in. So you want to make sure your pipeline is set up. And then that sets you up for the future where you can test, tweak, and continuously build and scale some more. It's not a whimsical thing of looking at what might happen. You literally have actionable information that you can use within your business. And when we touched on it briefly in about the pipeline, it's important looking at your data. Because again, looking at your data will help you focus with optimizing what you're providing. And you're looking at your conversion rate. Do you do that to help improve the conversions that are coming into the business? So. You want to, again, I can't stress that enough. Make sure you're looking at your data. And there's many ways that you can look at the data. Let me cover that briefly. One of the most widely used ones these days for data analytics is Google Analytics. And it's helpful. So it might not work the best for you, and it could work the best for you. But Google Analytics is a perfect start. You can see what pages people are coming to, what countries people are coming from, what how long people are on your website or how long people are staying on the pages. Looking at that data will help you understand where you should put your efforts with steering this system. So if you're steering it to the places that people are frequently coming from, then that will help you scale and optimize your offer to start bringing in more leads and more opportunities. So the aim of it is optimizing the content so your system is able to generate leads and eventually convert them. And by making small changes of copy, your content of the actual copy on your email, you believe this or not, there is a thing called A-B testing where you can test or optimize the subject line of your emails. Believe it or not, that's actually something that's helpful. If you're sending out emails to your audience and you notice on the first run that not that many people are responding and you do a small tweak to your subject line and then you notice with that tweak you have maybe a 10 percent more gain in people signing up that right there is a win you want to make sure that you're doing out doing those type of tests it may be even changing the cover of your lead magnet that sounds insane to think about, but that actually helps. Changing the cover, making that type of tweak can also help draw in the people that you're trying to uh, speak to. Carrying out these tests, it's important to also keep in mind just changing one or two things. You don't want to do a lot of tests because if you're making a lot of changes, you're never going to be able to track the effectiveness of the optimization that you're doing. And once you have it, the system in place, just move on to the next one. And it's not uncommon for businesses to have multiple systems in place for different things. There's a 
automated system that you can have for a webinar that you presented kind of like this. If you can record the webinar and then turn it into automated lead gen systems, you can write an ebook, you know, I mentioned earlier having a lead magnet, which is between five to about eight to 10 pages. That is one way you can also have consultations. There's so many different ways you can offer an email course. There's so many different options out there, but it's not uncommon for businesses to have multiples. So if it's a few different ways that you can attract your leads, set it up, start with the first one, get the first one in place, get it up and running, look over it for the first month, look at the number of people who signed up, how many of these who have booked calls, who have purchased, who have donated, all kinds of things. Just you set up your first one, use this as a base, make your tweaks, make your optimization. And then once it, once that first one has gotten to a point where this is the best one that can run, then copy, paste, rinse, repeat. You can create your new systems and duplicate it for different offers. Then next thing you have multiple systems, bring in multiple leads from multiple places. And then you have a full, basically marketing team that's in place. That will help take care of a lot of your marketing that only, you know, that limits you because of time. So having those multiple systems will just take a lot of that burden off of you. You only limit yourself based on the number of systems that you have. And your only limit with new systems will be your ability to handle the new leads it generates if you have multiple systems. So in addition, you can use these problems, questions, content, like any of the responses that you get back from your audience from the nurture sequence maybe there's some questions in there that you're putting in for user surveys or you're using the questions in the email to gauge or gauge how your audience responds to certain things those responses can be turned into to content Let's say you send out, you have a email nurture sequence and there's three of the emails have a one question in each and your responses to that is numerous, that's four to five new blog posts, right? It's just that simple. Or you can do a podcast. That's another Legion opportunity. You take that, those responses from those emails, and that can be the topics for episodes for your podcast, or if you have a YouTube channel. And like I said, there are so many different ways that you could spin it up. The YouTube video portion, you can create content that answers a lot of the same questions. It points to users. The video could be like a summary of the entire system. And then to get the more in-depth information, point them to the landing page in the description. They click on it, sign up, bam, there you go. Do you and your team create blog articles? That's great. Repurpose that content, create valuable information that leads users towards your system. They can be optimized to rank higher in search engines. And that's another source of traffic for your organization. There's so many ways that you can accomplish this. And here's another tip. Think about how you can repurpose the content you've created for your system. The problems that your clients have or your prospective clients have, or even the problems that you're solving that your donors are relating to and the questions they might ask you. There's so many ways that can be answered. The content you create can direct traffic into your system and that can help you educate, nurture, convert, create joint venture partners. There's limit. There, the sky's the limit. You can create opportunities for your organization as many times over by putting systems like this in pace. And when you just think about it at the end of the day, engage leads, spend more. If the goal is don donations, someone who's engaged with your brand, engaged with your content, that creates more of a related relationship between the two of you to where they now feel compelled to want to donate to the cause they want to. If the tidbit of information that they got from your lead magnet and lead gen system is that great, then that's prompting them to want to, let me get this consultation. I want to sign up and find out more about what they're providing. I want to speak to someone on the team, like someone that is engaged with your brand, with your organization they will be more compelled to donate. They will be more compelled to convert. They will be more compelled to do any of those micro commitments even further than what they've already done. So I just overall, I hope you enjoyed the overview of how I put together creating this automated system. A lot of cover, there's a lot of information to cover, 
but it's just a basic set of principles. People these days, they convert based on emotion and they buy from people they know and trust. That's the N-K-L-T. That's what it's called. No trust. When you show a prospective person that you understand their problem or you relate to their problem, you're willing to educate them a lot more and you're willing to nurture them through your system and provide the solution that they're looking for. You're creating what's called an emotive response that is driven off emotion. Your system will create a number, will have or contain a number of micro commitments starting from the moment a new prospect chooses to sign up to receive your content. And each step that they do along the way, whether it's clicking on a link, actually opening the email itself, or even responding to the email. That's just another commitment that helps drive them to the end goal that you're trying to get them to do, which is book a call, purchase a product, sign up for a, an event. There's, that's exactly what you want to have. Using an automated system like this, you're ensuring that your organization is dealing with people who are engaged and informed. They're receiving the value that you're delivering and they're ready to take the next step and have the discussion with you about how they can help you provide donations to you or how you can help them with services or consultations that you can provide for them. Having this type of system could help you say goodbye to unpredictable roller coaster every month. I promise you it would help you out. Having that steady flow of leads gives you and your team an opportunity to pick and choose who you want to work from. And that will also help solidify the sanity. <laughs> In your operation. So I hope all this was great. You know, this, I, again, I love enjoying giving these type of presentations to help drive home a lot of these principles when it comes down to digital marketing. I love doing what I do and I have fun doing it. So I hope all of this information was very helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to say thank you for, for tuning in to this presentation. If you want Keep an eye out over the next few days. I'll send out a few emails that'll follow up with some additional tips and ideas for you. But if in the meantime, you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. Again, my name is George Woodard. I am the Marcom website specialist and senior WordPress developer at L Squared Media Group. And I hope you have a great day.